At its core, Mafia 2 is a third person action crime game. It has all the exciting car chases, all the gunfights, and all the melee combat that you'd expect from a game like this. Our target kind of experience was very much things like Goodfellas, Godfather, very kind of adult movies with very serious themes. And for that to happen, we needed the game world to be realistic. Shooting is one of the most important things in the game, and obviously, uh, as we try to be realistic, uh, our weapons uh, are quite lethal. We really wanted to feel like deadly combat. What we don't want is the player sort of rushing enemies and doing things like that, you know. You can only take two or three shots before you actually die. If someone shoots at you, the first instinct is to get behind some cover. It really feeds into that intense feeling that we really want from the um, gun combat experience. Must he say, uh, we spent a lot of time and effort on the cover system because the player will spend a lot of time using it. But you have to be careful because the cover can often be easily destroyed. So if you're hiding behind a fence and it starts to disintegrate, it's time to move elsewhere. This destructibility was a big thing for us. We wanted to fill the whole city with a massive number of destructible objects, so the player felt that they could pretty much destroy anything. The player can use a wide range of weapons, from pistols to submachine guns. Of course, we had to include the classic Tommy gun that everyone knows from the Mafia movies. We do massive explosions from different stuff like vehicles can be exploded. We have some Molotov cocktails, they'll sort of set fire to the gasoline as it falls on the floor. And all these different things are things that you'd sort of expect from the 40s and 50s weaponry. <laughs> Melee combat in the game is a really sort of visceral experience. We want it to feel really brutal. So it's a very simple system. Using two buttons you perform these either hard punches or light punches. And then using a combination of these you perform these finishing moves. And the coolest thing is these finishing moves are sort of context sensitive as to where you are in the world. So if you're stood near the hood of a car then the player might punch a guy and then sort of smash his head against the hood of the car, which is a really cool thing. The driving model is very realistic. So you drive these things, they really feel like period cars. Uh, they feel very heavy, they feel really satisfying when you're driving them around. Once you get familiar with the controls, there's a real skill to doing the handbrake turns, the donuts and the, and the skids in the street. The inspiration for these has been the cars and the car chases that you see in gangster movies. So if you visualise a gangster movie chase, you know, the cars screeching around the corner with the smoke coming off the tyres, guys shooting out of the windows with Tommy guns. This is very much one of the key goals for the driving experience. We've got like a few features in the game which allow the player to sort of like personalise their vehicle. In the body shops you can customise the car a fair deal. You choose the car that you like the best. You know, I'm going to choose to take this car on the mission because it's better than every other car in the city. I think that's a pretty cool decision to make. Our gameplay is great. We've got shooting, car chasing, everything a game needs. But we also need to link it to the story to create a believable game. We needed to move away from some of the more arcadey conventions that you see in other open world games and focus more on a realistic experience for the player. So the player behaves like a mafia gangster. 